Hello, my friends. Liberty Garden, October 9th, Sunday. And I am finishing up this stretch of the fence. It's about, eh, probably about 80 yards. Uh, so it's five strand. It was already here, but it was all leaning and loose and sagging. So I already tightened it up. Tightened, tightened it up. You see the come along. And uh, some of the t posts that were bent or crooked, I kind of pulled out a little bit and strained out. Still looks a little bit. The t posts look a, some look a little higher than others. But that's because they use all kinds of t posts here. Use, they use these real tall t posts and then they use those smaller t posts. I'm just gonna leave it like that because right now the clay soil is super dry and these are very hard to get out with this t post puller. So it doesn't matter. What matters is that the fence is tight. See? So I'm just gonna start clipping it. It's already spaced out pretty well because it's got some of these dividers in, in here. And these are a good thing, but they're also a bit of a pain in the rear when you're when you're uh, retightening fence. You gotta come and kind of tap them and line them so that they don't hold the fence on a barb like here see you're trying to pull that way and this barb's kind of uh, kind of not preventing the the wire from getting pulled completely so you got to come and tap it here so on and so forth but overall it's okay they give structures to the fence especially like here you, you can see that they were using mostly um, wire dividers instead of tipo see there's a, a long stretch of fence here it has only two t posts so ideally you should probably have eh, one t post right there and then that one i would prefer to see more like t posts every three steps that's what i normally do every three steps of mine i put it i drop a t post but like i said i'm repairing this thing i'll probably drop a t post here in the middle just to give it a little more structure a little more strength but uh, this is uh my neighbor's property so the cows are not going to go that way i mean not really. It's just something to kind of guide the cows, tell the cows where the limits of their of their stumping grounds are. So right now I'm just gonna start clipping the fence. Some of those tipos are leaning. I I don't think I got it in me right now to pull them out with this dry weather. I might just pull them out with my neighbor's tractor, just kind of hook them up and pull them out. They're loose, but they're tight. I mean, they got the little plate at the bottom that's kind of hard to pull out. And uh, then the other thing is uh, banging them, banging them back into the soil. That that's right now, and in, in, in with this drought, it is so hard to put these things back into the soil. It's like pounding them into concrete. But anyway, I'm gonna finish this up, and I'll give you an update later.